We've been looking at basic forms of energy, including electrical energy, light, heat, sound, chemical, and mechanical energy. This week we're starting a new learning goal and we're looking at energy itself. Energy is the ability to cause motion or create change. These objects that are lined up on my desk are not going to move until something moves them. What's one force that you can think of that's acting on all of these objects on my desk and the desk and me and everything around us? Right, gravity is acting on all of us. Gravity is pulling us all down towards the center of the Earth. Another force that's acting on all of these objects is friction. And oftentimes, and you're all doing it right now, the whole class just went like this. Friction! Yes, you are correct. Friction, the rubbing of hands, creates heat. But friction also acts on all objects that are touching each other. And right now, all of these objects are on my desk and they are touching my desktop. So friction is acting on all of these. Now there's no heat being generated by that because these objects are not in motion until something moves them. It's going to take some form of energy to move these objects. Now one form of energy that you should be familiar with that can move these objects is of course mechanical energy. The mechanical energy of my arm through my muscles, mechanical energy can cause these objects to move. If I take the Jeep and I place the apple on the Jeep, those two objects are not going to move until I add energy to them. In this case, and you know what kind of energy this is, mechanical energy because a machine or a tool is doing the work, doing the energy, producing the energy of motion, that mechanical energy. These wheels wind up. When you back it up, the wheels wind up and spin. There's a spring inside that stores that energy. So this, will, this week and next week for a little bit, we'll be looking at energy as the ability to cause change or create motion.